Um, you know, we definitely don't want to sound alarmist at all. But could this just be a plain technical glitch, which has actually caused thousands to be stranded in the United States of America? Hi, thank you for having me here. Uh, yes, that exactly it is right now. Um, it's a purely a technical great, uh, glitch. And uh, the latest update we have is that uh, um, FAA has uh, almost fixed the issue. They are right now performing the validation tests. And once the validation tests uh, are over and the re results are satisfactory, um, we are expected to open the airspace uh, by 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. All right, so the airspace will open 9 a.m. Eastern time. Would you explain this technical glitch uh, for us, uh, sir? As of today, I do not have the information uh, about uh, the details of the technical glitch. So, um, at the time, I'm not in a position to explain what exactly has happened. Surely, but uh, we will have some mm -hmm. details, and later we will be able to put some light on that as well. All right, you know, stay with me, sir. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across uh, to Hiral Sachde, live from New York, uh, getting us the latest in terms of. Uh, uh, the numbers of passengers stranded, uh, there's utter chaos, understandably, when over 700 flights are grounded. Uh, Harold, what more can you add? It's not 700, it's more than 1,200, especially domestic flights. Uh, as of now, we also know that uh, close to 90 plus flights have been cancelled. The 1,200 flights are delayed, so obviously it is going to be chaotic at the airports. And so whoever's traveling domestically this morning is definitely in for a bad surprise. And that's what we are hearing. The 9 a.m. Eastern time is not so, uh, not so far away. So we are hoping that by then they are able to restore. We mm -hmm. also know that this uh, safety flight uh, glitch that is, that is causing these delays is not applicable to all flights. So obviously the aviation industry is working to see which flights can still continue on their schedule. Hey, well, you know, uh, I want to ask you, the White House has issued a statement, my colleague Ankit just detailed it for us, but uh, is now the possibility of maybe a cyber attack completely ruled out? This is just the fallout of a computer glitch, if one might simplify it? Well, as of now, that is what the reports are saying, that it's a computer glitch, and that it has been brought to notice a little earlier, and they're already working on it, and that's why probably this 9 a.m. Eastern time is something that that has been floating around and that is the hopeful time that all the travelers are looking at. And um, as far as uh, the cyber attack goes, well, we'll only know about that in the coming days. I'm sure there will be a detailed inquiry. There will be a, a detailed investigation on what has gone wrong exactly. And this is, this is probably not just the first time that the aviation industry is facing a flag. It's in the last one month, we've seen a lot of issues with some domestic airlines here who have not been able to cope up with the holiday travel and they've not been able uh, to, to schedule flights on time and there have been cancellations and delays. So yes, the aviation mm -hmm. industry at this point of time has more issues to address uh, on its hands. Uh, Iral, one quick question as well. You know, you said mostly domestic flights have been uh, delayed, uh, 99 flights you said uh, cancelled. So on the domestic sector, yes, out of chaos. Do you have any information on the Indian-bound sector? Have a lot of flights to India also been cancelled or delayed? As of now, uh, it, it looks like uh, they are trying to keep the international flights on track. But yes, in and out of, uh, of USA, different flights at different schedules operating right now can be impacted. So that could in, uh, include flights that are eastbound uh, at this moment, yes.